Hey there. My name is Coach Meg. I'm here. Low impact, high intensity interval training. I know, you totally heard that right. Low impact, high intensity interval training. Here's the thing. All the opportunities and options are built in for you. Cool? You need you? And I would suggest a chair, a bench, an ottoman, a couch, even a wall or a counter that's close by. Why? So when we do different things, we can incline, okay? Whether it's incline for partial push-up, incline for shoulder taps, incline for marches, mountain climbers. This way you can choose what you want and also incline for burpees because we're gonna do some of those today. But here's the thing, we don't have to jump. So that's why I'm calling it and that's what we're after for low impact. Part with high intensity interval training is we still wanna get the heart rate up. We still wanna get to that uncomfortable state where it's just over that edge. Yes, so that's what we're gonna chase. That's what I'm gonna offer you so you choose your opportunities and options. I say we get started. What do you think? This is just gonna be about 25 minutes of hard work and then we'll catch some stretches. To get the hard work started, I need us to get our body moving. Bring your feet underneath of your hips, thumb side up. Oh, let's start with a nice little rotation. Now, you can always move to the beat of music, or you can just use it right here as background. You're gonna find out that I'm gonna use a timer coming up here. And I'll always describe everything, show you what we got, and we'll see where we can go. At any time, if you want to level up or level down compared to me, I'll talk you through it and we'll see what options and opportunities we can explore together. All right, let's pause right here. Bring the hands back, push back. So what's happening? It's like, it wasn't me, I didn't do it. That's what I tell my brothers. I'm the baby in the family. So here's that push back. So think about activating your chest, like you're actually pushing something away and squeeze your shoulder blades behind you. So you've got anterior, posterior, chest, back, front, back, push, pull. Yeah, actually at most, even if you want to close the hands, push, pull back, push, pull back. That might create a little different change for you. You lean in that body. Oh yeah, little pause, hands by your side, step, and reach, pop and reach. Just getting a little bit into that side body, stepping the leg out. And as I mentioned, you can always speed up or slow down, you choose. And so many of these options, you can actually do it from a seated position, middle front part of your chair. You decide, so my hands just tracking slightly forward to face, and I'm expanding my fingers up as I reach. Yeah. Stretching a little bit into the hands, getting full range of motion here. If you wanted a little more, you could double. Out, in, or step, step. Oh yeah, you saw what I did there. You always can choose where you wanna to be today. All right, little pause. I want your feet to go fast. So if that means that's right here or here, go for it. Maybe it's here. I want you a little hinge. Here's why. We go wider, narrow, wider, narrow. Out, out, in, in, or out, out, in, in. See? We choose. It's like there's tires. You're stepping your feet in and out. As fast as you personally can. Yeah, there it goes. Using the arms. Pause, feet underneath. Knee up. So I want this to be your march. Yep, so I'm pulling the knee as high as I can. If that could be to the hip height, that would be awesome. Here's why, lower abs engaged. Next option, butt kick, bring it up, heel to bum. Oh yeah. Go. Keep it coming. All right, so here's the cool part. I want you to just march on the spot. Give it a go. 
We're going to go into our first piece. It's going to be six minutes long. You're going off my timer. Music is in the background. So listen to my go and my stop. 30 seconds on the clock. 30 seconds. Two different moves back to back. So it's going to be 30, 30, and then we get 30 reps. I think that's pretty awesome. So keep marching here for me. I'm going to get a little change for you as you're marching it out. Keep coming. Play along here. Just keep marching it out. You've got this. Come on through. All right. So it is officially time to play. We're going to go 30, 30, and 30. First move is going to be squat, heel up behind you. That's 30 seconds. Next one, we're going to go side step, heel lift. Side step, heel lift. You choose how fast you want to go. The so first one, squat, heel to bum. Coming in three, two, one. Here we go. Squat, heel. So what I want to see is in the squat, knees track the middle toes, hips go back. You might go super low. You might go super high. You choose. You can also toss the elbows back, squeeze between the shoulder blades, play with the range. Coming up, side tap, heel, side, heel, and three, two, join me right here. Side, heel lift. So I want you to feel like you're reaching, pushing something to get it all the way on top of the fridge, up onto that top shelf. There it is. Now when you reach, push slightly forward, biceps in front of the ears. There it is. Using the arms to help come on up to the toes. Pause, little march. Nice and light recovery. Eyes on me, the next two moves. I'm gonna take an incline, feet outside the hip, shoulder tap. Opposite hand to the shoulder. So I'm just tapping up and down. You can do this on the wall counter or even the ground. Next one will be modified jacks. You saw that in the warm up. So let's bring our hands under shoulders, shoulders over the wrist, up and down. Yeah. You can do this again, like I mentioned counter, back of the couch, ottoman. You just don't want anything to roll away from you. Keep the back of your body nice and tight. So you're gonna squeeze your glutes into the midline, heels into the midline. There we go. You go as fast or slow as you want. Drop the elbows. Three, two, one. Modified jack. So you can step one on one or two arms and step to the side. You could also pick it up. Remember, you do not need to match the music. This is just hip training. You shoot. Soften the knees. Push from the outside. Reach, reach. Reach, pull, reach, pull. Now remember, you can slow this down. Pause, little march. We're gonna take this back to the top. Squat to bum, kick. You got it. You choose how low you go in the squat and how high and how fast you kick, right? Remember, it looks like this, elbows back, elbows back. Now, when you rise up, kick right here. Don't push through, right? Keep the belly tight. Come out in five seconds. Squat, do a butt kick. Let's drop. Down, up, down, up. You can speed up. Maybe you speed up and you stay shallow for 10. Just an option. Then low as you go. Slowing it down for four. And then what if you went back again? There's so many things that you can do and you can play with today. Coming up next is gonna be that lateral step. Still reach, so step, reach, step, reach. Hands go back, reach it up from the side. Lift like this, back, up, back, 
up. So again, biceps right in front of the ears, hips are going to squeeze and press up. This way I can engage my glutes as I reach over the top. Just a little push. Almost there. You two how fast. March. <laughs> Here we go. Catch the breath. Woo, you get a drink anytime you need it. You know this, right? All right, next is that incline. It's gonna be that shoulder tap. Boom, 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 boom. Up. And then we're gonna do our modified jumping jack. All right, eight seconds, we're gonna lock in the core. Hands come down. Shift the weight forward. Squeeze heels into midline. Let's shoulder tap. If the shoulder tap does become too much for you, can you hold an incline plank position? Yeah. So you can choose. Maybe your incline is a little harder. Maybe it's a little easier. Easier will be up higher on a countertop or table. Harder down on the floor or maybe only a six inch step. You can choose. Brace the belly and the hips. All right. Come on up. Jumping jack. Out. In, out, in, yeah, out and in, out and in. You can go slow. You go to you where you need it. We got this. Soft press to the side and then push out of the side of the foot. This way we can help learn how to change directions and use the hips a little more. March, breathe. Whee! All right, coming up next is going to be our Tabata. 20 seconds of work and only 10 reps this time. I know, don't worry. We're going to learn the moves and we get to repeat the moves. That's the great part about this. Always full of many options. So the first one is going to be a side lunge with a knee up. We're going to be going to the right side. So it goes lunge, knee up. Lunge, knee up. Lunge, knee up. And so when you lunge, knee still tracks in the middle of the toes, hips go back slightly. Make it less, not more. So we don't want that toe to go, or the knee to go past the toe, and we don't want the heel to lift. So maybe it's just gonna be here, here. Catch, and then lift. And that knee's just gonna go straight up. We'll hit the other side, don't you worry. I'll go ahead and show you move number two, march. Then it would be the other side, and then it's a modified burpee. So we're gonna have our feet wider than that chair, or to see my chair, right? Just outside the hip. So here's what's gonna happen. Feet outside, hands come under shoulders, step out, out, in, in, heel lift. Modified burpee. You can go as low as you wanna go. Maybe you have something to go lower to the ground. You choose for you. I'm gonna use the chair today. We're ready for Tabata. So let's start. Feet under the hips. We're going to step the right leg out and then lift it up. In three, two, one. Here it goes. Side, knee up. Side, knee up. You go as fast or slow as you want. Again, training down the sides of our legs. I'm just bringing my hand up. Thumb comes close to the opposite shoulder. All right, rest. You can march. Easy march, and my legs are low, because the next march, you know what happens? In three, two, one, bring the knees up. All right, so this is that big march. Yeah, so we're trying to bring our knees up as high as we can. There you go. So you can march it to where you're in front of wherever you're gonna do that next side lunge. So I'm gonna march so I got a little space. Pause, easy march. Feet are going to be under the hips. We're going to step left leg out and then left knee lift. Two, one, let's go. Out, lift. Out, lift. You might even also feel the inner thighs. If the hips go back, push out of the outside of the grounded leg. There we go. All right, march over to your chair. Where are you going to do your modified burpees? I feel like I got to dance on March. 
All right, you ready? Get outside the hip. Let's squat, plank, step out, in, in, heel lift. Using that squat to be that transition. Squat, step out, out. Notice how my shoulders stay right over where my wrists are. That's going to be safety for my wrists and my shoulders. Team, march. Round one done. Oh, don't worry. We got a few rounds to go. I'll keep you in the loop. Let's step. Side and lift. Side. So see how we're learning a little balance to come up? Now your option will be toe tap down. So step out, toe tap down. You choose. Working on that single leg balance. Easy march. Low march. What's coming next? High march. Yeah. Use the labs. In three, two, one. Let's bring it up. This is that march with purpose. Heart rate goes. Yes, we can. Come on. Stay on this. Five seconds. March over. You got room to your left side. Left step. Knee up. Out. Oh, rest. <laughs> rest a little. I was excited I wanted to go. All right. Now are you ready? In three, two, one. All right. Step out and lift. I got excited on that, didn't I? That's all fair enough. Push right back in those hips for me one more time. And then lift that knee up. All right, now, easy march. Walk your way over, square piece time. Feet outside the hips. Let's go. Out, out, in, in. Now, if you wanted just a little more, you could add a little jump. Heel lift. See, all kinds of options. You choose. And maybe you don't like the heel lift. Then don't do it. Rest. Easy march. Woo! Two rounds down. Do you want the good news? Two rounds to go. That means you're halfway. All right. Stepping to the right. Let's go. Yeah. There we go. Again, using the lower abs. It's that little pause so you don't just have to fall into it. Actually, hold on to it. Ooh, that made it harder, didn't it? Time. Easy march. Easy march. Coming at you is going to be the big march. In five, four, three, two, big march. March of purpose. That's it. Come on with me. Ooh. All right. So I'm going to march to this side. So I create a little space. But I'll remember my break. <laughs> I know you're going to remember it. Are you ready? You and me? A little easy march. Down we go. All right, we're going to step to the left and lift that left leg up. Let's do this. Yeah. Right out there. Little push. Remember that little catch right here? Cool. I think the Super Bowl, Heisman. Easy, Mars. Little dance time for me. All right, you choose your style of burpee. Do it with flair. Let's go. Four. Using that squat to transition. Brace in the belly. Time. Easy march. Oh, heart rate's up. All right. Are you ready? Right side. Let's do this. Out and up. This is that last time. This side, last time. Get that little pause. Push out. Pause. Catch it. Out. Push. Ooh, that makes it harder, doesn't it? Nothing like leveling up as you play. Easy march. Coming at you, big march. 
All right. So we got this. Ready? Let's go. Big march. All the way. Knees as high as you can get them. Use the arms. That's it. <laughs> we got this together. Let's do this. All right, I'm going to march over here with attitude. You can join me. Easy march. Legs low. Or maybe it's a little step together. We're going to do that left step, left knee up. Here we go. Remember, it could be small, and you could come back to that toe tap any time. Or it could be big, and it push. It's a little hold. You just have a tooth for you. Hey, there's my puppy for you. <laughs> She's alive. Pause. Easy march. She's just talking. She was cheering us on. She thought we did a great job. Are you ready for the last time on burpees? Show me. Go. You can choose so many different ways to do this. My goal for us, the feel successful, and they get just about 30 minutes of movement at the end of this. Pause, easy march. Tabata, close. We're back to 30, 30, 30. I know, new moves. Why not, right? So we showed up for, all right. The next one, right leg and then left leg. So it's gonna go right leg, squat, right leg back. Then it goes left leg forward, squat, left leg back. You only squat once you step forward. Then we have the incline mountain climber. Hands here, knee comes in, or you can switch with that little jump, or you just stay right here. I'll show you as we go, 30-30 with 30 reps. Are we ready? Yes, you are. Of course you are. If you're not, join me once you're done. So we're going to start with that step forward, the right foot coming at you in three, two, one. Step forward, right foot, squat, right foot back, left foot, squat, left foot back, right, squat. So this is instead of a jump forward, we're trying to take a really big step forward. Get ready to make it over to your chair or your incline. We got five seconds. Make it over to your device. Hands on, plank position, knee, knee. So you're trying to drive your knee forward to the rim of your device or your hands on. So forward towards the thumb. Does not need a cross body, just forward. You can stay at this pace. Now, pull the shoulders away from the ears and shift forward just another inch. There we go. Coming up into our break. Rest. So, this is where you can get a drink, sidestep, or easy march here. I'm going to show you the next move. Body weight halo, squat to heel lift. So, bring your hands together. Up over the right side, slam down the middle, heel lift. Up over the left side, down the middle, heel lift. That's what we're going to do for 30 seconds. Then we got knee towards elbow. That's it. Feet outside hips, cross the hands. Up over the right, down the center, heel lift. Up over the left. Elbows ring around, down, there. So my elbows are going to open. I'm going to go behind my head, exhale down, heel lift. So it's like your sore. You own this hammer. Exhale. Whew. Yes. Five more seconds. All right. Bring the feet underneath. So you can have fingers at temple. Twist. Twist. Or you can have them right here at the collarbone. Thumb still. Just right here. And keeping my knees forward as well. Yeah, there we go. Knee drive straight up. Keep it coming. Time. Oh. All right. So we're going to take this back to the top. Do you remember 
step forward right and squat. I hope you do. I hope you do. We're going to do that. And then we're going to step with the left. All right. Get set. Right leg. Squat. Step back. Left leg. There we go. Ooh, what did I do? Anybody notice? I added another squat. Yes, I did. Why? Because we want to level this up. We want to take it to that next space. All right, let's work it on over to our chair. Mountain climber, hands on, here we go. There it goes. Drive the knee in and forward. All the way up. Keep control, now you could jump. Jump, 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 jump. You choose or you can stay right here. All the way, come on, almost in. What's that mean? Let me see what's done. Time. Easy march, step side to side. You got 30 seconds. I'm just checking in on you. Keep it coming for me. <laughs> All right, so you ready to do this? All right, halo. Interlace. It's coming your way. Up, over, and around. Down, heel lift. And then the left. Up and around. Down, up. There we go. Beautiful on the play. Driving the hips right up. Squeezing the glutes. Come on, slam that down. There we go. Where it came to the core, uh, more core. Fingertips here, or thumbs at collarbone, center of chest, twist. You can go this pace. Keep that knee lifting just straight up for me. Yes. Continue to work through, you've got this. Almost complete. All the way through the finish line. Three, two, one. Ah, step side to side. A little breathe. You know what time it is? It is time to stretch. I want you to just step side to side, catch maybe a little drink of water. And it is time for our final. Ooh, breathe. All right. Here's the time. Little step side to side for me. Let the heart rate lower. Finish up. right over that head. March. Push, pull. Push, pull. You can leave the hands, but put the elbows back. You made it this far. All you gotta do is finish. Ah, march down low. Right heel goes out, inhale up. Inhale, exhale sweep to the ankle or shin. Inhale, 
Exhale, hips go back as you sweep down. Yeah. Three more. One more. Twist your feet. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again, sending those hips back nice as you slide down. Yeah, stretch in the back of the leg. Last one here. Ah, oh, wonderful. Bring the feet underneath the hips and then step them really wide, hands on the hips, pins into that right knee, hips go back, head stays above the heart. Press into that left heel, stretch the inner thigh. You got this. Almost complete. Rise on up. Take the right arm across. Look over the right shoulder. Avoid the joints so above or below. Shoulders relax down. Good. So remember, you can always replay this. Have a little bit of fun. You can level it up. Level it down to your liking, and you can also do it all almost from the chair. Tuck the chin, put your hands towards me. Round that back, back. Arms behind you, press down and back, lift that chest. All right, from me to you, Coach Meg. Thank you for joining me for this low impact, high intensity interval training. Take it from me, keep at this, because I know I'm gonna do this one again. This was phenomenal for me. Hopefully you had a blast too. I'll catch you next time, bye.